Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm starting off a vlog very late in the day. It's just after three o'clock. It's actually like golden hour right now. It is so pretty in here. I'm obsessed with this lighting. Whenever this is happening, I just want to sit here and like stare at the lighting and not do anything else. Just enjoy it because it's so pretty. It's so funny though because like obviously in the fall and winter, this golden hour is at like three o'clock. And then I remember in like the summertime, this golden hour was at like 7.30. <laughs> it's so funny. But I've been just doing so much work today. I filmed like three videos this morning slash this afternoon, like all day long. So I literally have just been like go, go, go all day getting work done and cleaning stuff up and just pretty much doing stuff around the house. She's just over there cleaning like a cutie this one's mm, no nope, you're not sleeping you're just hanging out we got the whole gang here ken's still working but i thought i would just start like a little vlog because i realized i haven't vlogged since vlogmas which i mean i think kind of makes sense i was vlogging for like 30 whatever it was 33 or 34 days straight i went a little long so i kind of obviously wanted a little bit of a break from like having the camera in my hand 24 7 and having to edit like every single night or morning so i've taken a little bit of a break from vlogging however i've been doing a ton of filming since vlogmas ended i've been filming like four or five videos a week sometimes more so I've been doing a ton a ton a ton of filming but just not vlogging so I thought I would pick up the camera and just do a quick little vlog I'm probably just gonna throw this up at a random time my upload schedule in case y'all aren't familiar is Monday Wednesday Friday and then usually Saturday but I've just been having so many videos I've been wanting to put up and just filming like crazy that I've been posting Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday and like sometimes even Sunday or like a random Tuesday or something like that and I'm actually pretty far scheduled out right now again just because i have so much content i've been filming i don't want to put a video like every day but i think putting up four to five videos a week is obviously a lot and even with that amount of videos i'm scheduled out for like weeks so it's kind of nice and that's pretty typical for me i'm typically always scheduled out i have videos like three to four to five a week for like three or four weeks in advance typically which is nice so i just never really run into a pickle of you know not being able to upload on schedule but at the same time sometimes it's like a little bit inconvenient only because if i want to like upload a video so sooner rather than like three weeks from now at the end of the like queue i don't really have any days in my schedule like available for a video so this vlog might just kind of be popped in on a random like sunday or tuesday or thursday or something random i have had a couple comments people saying that they're missing the vlogs which is so sweet and i totally get that i love watching vlogs as well i've just had a lot of just regular i feel like everyone calls them main channel videos but like your normal sit down videos i've had a lot of those going up of course but just no vlogs and i know everyone got a ton of vlogs over vlogmas and now the vlogs on the channel have kind of stopped for a couple weeks so i thought i would bring back the vlogs just do kind of a vlog for the rest of the afternoon i have a couple of things i've got in the mail i figured i would show y'all kind of do maybe like a little try on and nothing really too crazy exciting oh we're gonna hang some new like pictures that i recently got at home goods and marshall's up in the bathroom so i'll show you guys that so yeah i'm just gonna bring you along the rest of the day long intro because i haven't vlogged in a while so i'm just gonna blabber but i'm glad to be back to vlogging for today but first like i said i've been working like crazy today i have not even had a chance to sit down so i'm gonna sit here i'm actually really behind on water so i'm gonna drink some water and i've been addicted to like the old teen mom 2 episodes i've watched i'm on season 1 episode 13 i've watched all 13 episodes in like a week and a half which i mean they're short i feel like i've been kind of binging them because they're just so good <laughs> this is like og stuff We'll look at these two. Ken and I are getting ready to try hanging up some of this new little decor that we recently got. We have to see if we like it though. So this picture has like these really, really thick pieces of plastic, hardcore stapled in. And we've been having to use pliers just to get it off. So this little project is taking extra long, literally just because of this. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Nice. All right, so here's what we did. I was really wanting to put something up there above the shower. I don't know why, I just felt like it was just too much weirdly empty space. So, and I loved those because they literally match the wall color like kind of perfectly like they're the same shade but kind of different like lightnesses and all that and then i really loved this because i feel like this also has the same kind of wall color in it and then it kind of pulls out some of the reds and like yellows from the other decor so oh, 
I'm so excited. I feel like this just looks so much more done now, you know? All right, Ken is running out to pick up some dinner, some takeout, and I wanted to show you a couple of things I recently got in the mail. These couple of things were sent to me, but I really wanted to show them to you guys. Well, this is called the Black Barbie. It's like a booty workout kind of situation. It comes in this really nice, like, carrying case. It comes with a mat and all this stuff. I took it out yesterday, but I put it back in just to show you guys. So I want to take this out and just kind of, like, show y'all what it's all about. So I'm hoping I'm going to be able to show y'all in a way <laughs> that, like, makes sense. But this is basically, it's a butt, leg, booty workout kind of contraption. So it has this really super nice, like, adjustable band that you just wrap around your waist. It definitely gets, like, small and big, so it will definitely fit, you know, any size body. And then you can see hanging off my back <laughs> are the bands. And they have this really nice little, like, foothold that you can also adjust as well. I feel like whenever I'm using bands like this, it's always a problem that I'm scared of them, like, slipping off my shoes and, like, smacking me in the face. So I love that this comes with, like, these little foot holes and it's really nice really like high quality this just feels like a really thick nice plastic super super stretchy i also just love that it's hot pink i think that's so cute and then you can see i'm standing on this little mat that it comes with as well this is like a non-slip really really soft obviously like a pretty decent thickness it just feels really good i'm so stoked to have this i feel like this is just going to be so handy for so many things like exercise wise so i haven't tried this out yet but i'm going to test it out i did a workout already today like a long like 50 minute leg workout so i'm not going to like work out work out but I kind of want to like test out how it works. I feel like this is just going to be so handy, especially obviously with COVID and all that and finding gym equipment. I know it's kind of difficult a lot of the times right now. So these kind of things are so handy to use. I have a lot of different like band type workout equipment because they're just easier to get your hands on. This is like super portable too. You could easily bring this like if you go, you know, traveling, this is something you can easily like pack up in that bag and just like throw in your bag or in the car and bring it with you because it's just so portable. So I'm going to dock this up and see how this works. All right, the ring light is like right... <laughs> in our face but i just like hooked my legs right through the little foot straps my feet feel so secure in here i'm actually like so surprised by how like secure this feels you can do so many things i was looking at the manual of all the different workouts and you can do like kickbacks which i do these all the time but i don't do them with any resistance so i feel like this is definitely <laughs> burn in the booty you can also do it straight and do just like straight leg kickbacks again these are definitely something i do all the time but not with a band so this adds so much resistance sometimes i will hook a dumbbell like behind my knee right here and do these but this is way easier and then it's also showing that you can flip around move this around in front of you and then hook your feet the other way i'm kind of discombobulated now and do like bicycles and like front leg lifts and stuff like that so i wouldn't have even thought that this was that versatile but now that i'm seeing all these pictures like it makes perfect sense but i feel like this is gonna be so so useful my legs are just so sore from my workout this morning but this feels like it's gonna be so handy let me take it off and just show it to you so this is what it looks like it even has really cute landing back here and these kind of slide around this is just really nice like really high quality and i feel like there's a lot of workouts you can do with this that you wouldn't be able to do like just with dumbbells or other kinds of bands so this is actually so exciting i can't wait to like do an actual workout with this i'm gonna have to show that in like another vlog or something but this is just really really nice and it'll be so easy to work out with this rather than having to have a ton of equipment and it does come with the guide that shows you all the different workouts and there's probably even more than that so i'll link this down below if y'all want to check this out and then i'm also going to try on some new clothes i just got all right, so I have a couple goodies here. This is actually all from a brand that sells on Amazon, so love that. I will definitely be able to link all this stuff up for you guys as well. The first thing I have on here is, I feel like it's a little on the small side. It's also that time of the month, so I'm a little more bloated than I typically would be, but this is just like a little running jacket. It's actually a really nice material. It's really smooth, like a really nice soft material, and it has this little zipper protector up here, which I always love when they have that because I always tend to zip myself up or my hair up in my jacket the arms are kind of like almost like a little perforated kind of material and it does have the armhole and it's in this really pretty blue color really like lightweight like i feel like if you were to like actually you know work out or run in this you wouldn't really get super sweaty it just feels like it's really breathable and of course it zippers i think i would probably just say to size up in this even though it's super stretchy like it's a little more form-fitting than i would typically want my jackets to be so maybe just like size up one size but it is a really really nice material this the top is so much fun look at this it's this really pretty tie-dye and look at these freaking sleeves how fun is that that's just like the cutest girliest little touch and then it kind of like flares out 
out. Just like kind of flowy. Okay, I got a size small on this, so this definitely runs true to size. This is definitely something I would do like a little tuck situation in. I think this is so cute and I love the tie-dye colors, like the kind of orange and pink and the different like blues. This is honestly like the color of my bathroom <laughs> that we were just in almost, but honestly these sleeves like just sold me. Next up, I have this a cute little romper, which I know it's not really that time, but I'm like thinking ahead to the warmer weather already because I'm already just so excited for it. Almost a tiny bit small just in the chest area and I don't even have that big of a chest but I did get this in a size small and I feel like this fits perfectly. It's like nice and roomy, you know, it's got like a little bit of extra space but it's not like unflattering or anything. A really nice length on the short so if you're a little, you know, uncomfortable with having, you know, a lot of legs showing, this is a really good length. It's kind of like mid thigh and it does come with this little tie which I didn't do. <laughs> just realized this bow is not looking very nice but the tie has like little loops for it so you can kind of like I just kind of blouse it over I feel like that's typically more flattering and this is also just a really nice material I just realized this is like the same color as that first jacket I didn't even mean to get a bunch of blue but this is a really nice comfortable material and the buttons are functional so you just get in and out of it through the buttons or if you're nursing if you're a mom this would also totally totally work I just think the buttons are a cute little detail and this would be so cute with like a little cardigan and some sandals this is just also such a different color for me I don't have much of this like blue in my wardrobe, so I thought this was fun. I have another romper to show y'all, and I feel like it's like kind of similar vibes, but different. This one has a little collar on it, and kind of like these little capped rolled sleeves. This is almost like kind of a canvas feeling material. It feels really, really nice. It has like similar buttons, but it also has some here with like these little pockets, and they are real pockets, which is cool. And then kind of a similar concept, it has the little tie, and this one has a cute little pocket. I would say these shorts are a little bit shorter, like nothing crazy, like my butt isn't hanging out or anything like that but I just feel like this is so adorable and I love that it has a little tie so you can kind of like cinch it in make it a little bit more flattering I think this is adorable this would be so cute in the summer again you could layer this up with a cardigan or honestly just wear it how it is because it has the sleeves on it it's a really nice material obviously black goes with everything and then last but not least I grabbed this swimsuit which I'm not gonna try on because <laughs> like I said a it's that time of the month so the last thing I want to do is wear a swimsuit and also I'm so pale right now so I will put a picture on the screen of the model wearing it just so y'all can get an idea but it's this really gorgeous navy blue it kind of has like this crisscross detail between the two cups and it kind of peeks through right there so kind of like a sexy cute little detail it's a halter top it ties at the top and in the back which I love that so super super adjustable there's padding in here which I love I like have to have padding I feel so weird without it but I just love the details of this top and then the bottoms are also adorable obviously high-waisted they kind of have like the ruched tied side really really big thick band I just think this is gonna be adorable I don't have any like navy blue swimsuits like this I feel like this is gonna be such a cute addition to my collection and I of course love high-waisted bikinis I, I got so many last year actually mostly all off Amazon as well just because they have so many good ones that are so cute this is the last piece that I wanted to show you guys I'm sure you will see these in the vlogs and everything in a few months are coming up in the summer when I whip this out to actually wear outside when it finally warms up. So those were just a bunch of the things that I got in the mail recently that I wanted to share with you guys. All of that will be linked down below in the description box. Ken just got back and we got our favorite Jersey Mike's. We eat Jersey Mike's way too often. All right, we got the club sub and the supreme sub. We're just sharing. They like messed them up and did not put bacon on them, which is obviously the best part. But, and there's way too much lettuce. You see all this lettuce? It's like a salad on a sandwich. We just finished eating and honestly, not only was the bacon missing, but it was just like not, those were just not well-made sandwiches. Like I said, there was too much lettuce. I don't know, there's just something about it. They were not structurally sound. <laughs> we just, we didn't really enjoy those that much. But it's getting a little bit later. We're gonna hang out, watch some more Queen's Gambit. Let me know in the comments below if y'all have watched Queen's Gambit yet. If you haven't, I definitely recommend it. I was like really against it, honestly. I was like, this is not my kind of show. I'm not gonna like this. And now I just think about it like 24 seven and I'm hooked and I need to know <laughs> what happened. So obviously I won't say anything or spoil it, but it's really, really quite good. And even if you think you're not gonna like it, I bet you that you will. And the first episode's just a little bit slow. So you have to kind of stick with the first episode, but we're gonna watch some of that. Sydney goes live in like an hour and a half. So I gotta be there for that. And I think that's gonna just pretty much wrap up this vlog. I just kind of wanted to uh, catch up with you guys just kind of bring you around for my day i have a whole bunch of really exciting videos coming up and i've just been filming so 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 much so stay tuned for that and we will see y'all in our next video bye guys <laughs>